What is going on guys, it's Modern Warfare here and welcome back to another quick Apparition Net Studio video. In this video I'm just going to show you guys how to use the bypasses for Black Ops 2 Ghosts Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3. We have in-game uh, bypasses for those games because you, obviously you do get banned normally if you go on those games um, pretty quickly. And our bypasses are just as good as the ones in Tampered Live and XBL Ninja. So, and you don't need any kind of external XEX file that you have to add as a Dash Launch plugin, none of that. It's all done through RTE. So, the way you implement this, so I'll do Black Ops 2 first as an example. What you want to do is be on the dashboard or be on another game or uh, wherever. Before you launch the game uh, that you want to bypass, you want to click uh, the tool, open up the tool for that game. And then in the modification section, there'll be a BAM bypass option. Just click that. It should say the bypass will be active when the game is loaded. And then what you want to do is just launch the game. So you can do that through the quick launcher. Or if you haven't added quick launch, you can open up the console manager and browse for the XEX to launch. And once you've done that, so just go ahead and launch the game. And what should happen is you should get a notification on the console. Uh, when the game starts to load up that the Apparition Net BAM Bypass is, is active. If you get that notification, then the bypass is enabled and you're good to go online now. Um, I will advise though, if you do disconnect from Xbox Live when you're on the game and you have to reconnect, it might be a good idea just to reactivate the bypass just in case, because these bypasses don't activate automatically because they're in an RTE tool, it's not a stealth server, and it would slow down the tool too much if we were constantly um, you know, checking to see what game you were running. Uh, so for that reason, we've made the bypasses manual, but that's all you have to do. Just activate the bypass before you go on the game, then launch the game. If you get the X notify message, then it means you're good to go uh, on the game and you're not going to get banned. So uh, Ghost is the other one I want to show you because unfortunately we have, we actually forgot to implement the Ghost bypass in the same way as um, Black Ops 2 uh, Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3. We still have a Ghost Bypass, it's a very good Ghost Bypass, but you have to activate it in a different way. We will sort that in the next update, so once we update the tool again, um, we will have that fixed, hopefully, where you'll activate it in the same way as the other bypasses. So all the other bypasses work in the same way as Black Ops 2, apart from Ghost right now, but once we've updated it, it'll work the same way on Ghost. So in order to use the Ghost Bypass as of right now, um, all you have to do is make sure that you're signed out. So we're on we're on Black Ops 2 right now. So what I'm going to do is just make sure I'm signed out of my account. So I'm going to go ahead and sign out here. And then what we'll do, so make sure you're signed out for Ghosts. Open the Ghost tool or run or uh, launch Ghosts. So I'm going to launch Ghosts right here. Head to the modifications uh, section. Okay, and when you get uh, this notice that says in order to play multiplayer you need to be signed in, when you get this message then click BAM Bypass, it will say make sure you're on Ghost and signed out before activating this, click OK, it will say Bypass enabled, it's now safe to sign in, so now you can go ahead and sign in, so we'll just do that, sign in. Okay, and we're now signed into Xbox Live. I am on offline files as well, um, just because offline files normally don't have bypasses for these games. So if you are on offline files, you can use our bypasses to get on there, no problem. Um, once you've signed in, you might want to just activate the bypass a second time, just to be sure. That's just that's just my paranoia. <laughs> I don't know. You probably don't need to do that, but. Uh, I just do that once more for good measure, and that should be it. The bypass is enabled. Again, if you sign out or disconnect from Xbox Live at any point, then reactivate the bypass uh, before you sign back in, and then you're good. So that's the ban bypasses for um, for these games. We've got a bypass again for Ghosts, Black Ops 2, Advanced Warfare, and Black Ops 3, and it's only Ghosts that you have to do the sign out one, but like I say, we will fix that in the next update, so they'll be the same as, as the other bypasses. But for Black Ops 2, Advanced Warfare, and Black Ops 3, that's uh, the say the X note. They're all the same. Um, you just activate the bypass before you go on the game, and then uh, when you launch the game, you'll get the X notify message, and it'll be bypassed, and you can get online and play for as long as you want. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little video, and uh, yeah. So go ahead and leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next one.
shuffling. 